back. And he's ready for the adventure that will be the greatest challenge to all his powers. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is clean this thing off. This would be the same thing you'd be doing if you're going to apply this to your car the paint. You want to make sure there's no wax or grease or anything on it. So window cleaner, the blue stuff, whatever brand you want, works pretty good. You go through. Yeah, we'll just, yeah, that's nice. One more time, just, just for giggles. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get some rough measurements here. So this one is 33, so that's what, 16 and a half, which puts us right about in line with the lock cylinder. This area up here, one, we're gonna call that eight and seven eighths. And I have the sticker that I got this goes on the back of the formula on the on the rear spoiler. Um, I ended up with a couple of these, so I decided to decorate my toolbox. So um, I put some alignment marks. There's the bottom center. There's the top of the wing. There's the top of the wing. These are really just for me to ensure that I know where things are. So roughly from here to here is about five and seven eighths. So we said that's eight, so that gives about three inches. That's about an inch and a half from the top. So basically what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna position this in the center. I'm gonna bring this about an inch and a half down so that that line's about an inch and a half down. That'll ensure that it's straight across and we'll go from there. be honest with you I'm gonna kind of eyeball this and see because that is oh, that's right about dead center right there and I don't have any painters tape with me for some reason but yeah I know what kind of body shop am I huh but anyways So from here, I'm rough. Be roughly two inches. Right here is roughly two inches. Oh, nice. Okay, that's just about, let's see, it might give it just a, let's see. Fifteen sixteenths, and this is about two. Okay, this is just ever so slightly twisted. So what I'm going to do is just move it up about that much, and we'll just keep playing this little game here for a second until we get everything lined up how we want it. That's about two. That's about two. And you know what? That's close enough right there. It looks about. It's shifting ever so slightly, but it looks good to me um, visually. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to take this guy down, hold it in place. Nothing major, just that. And I'll tell you what, since I am gonna do this, let me see here, go one more time. So we'll say that is right about 
two inches and this is right about two inches yeah there we go okay that's nice straight and let's see how close my eyeball was 16 and a half right on the money cool okay so at this point what i'm going to do is i will lift up the bottom section here i'm going to peel it off i've made up made up a solution of soapy water. It's just water with a little bit of dish soap in it. So what I'll do is I'm gonna lift this up, I'm gonna peel the back off, and I'm gonna spray this whole area down, put the sticker, just slowly work the sticker down, and then I'll work the air out of it, and the bubbles and all that good stuff, water out of it. Um, but what that allow me to do is if there's any mistakes or anything, I can lift up and reposition it slightly. But um, the biggest thing for me is just ensuring that I'm gonna wash my hands again making sure that I don't get fingerprints on here. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to slowly I'll get out of here. Now there's a bug sitting here I'm bugging me, no pun intended. Figures. Okay, put a little bit of soapy water down. Lay it down. And one more time, just because I pretend like I'm not anal about this, but I am. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit here, we're gonna go over the decal. You can see right through the masking. So we'll start, I'm gonna start here and kind of work my way across through the center. I suppose I probably should have started right in the center of it, but I wanna make sure that those wings are getting attached. So, if you have a little plastic, um, like a Bondo spreader or something like that, that would probably be pretty good. Anything you can do that's flat that you can put a little bit of pressure on and kind of squeegee everything out, any of that would be good. But I think, I think we're going to be happy with this.
I remember when I was, um, was a teenager, well, I guess I was out of a teenager, I was 20. Um, my first Trans Am, I painted it when I was 19 slash 20, and I bought some, uh, all the decals for it. And I had the large, it was a 76, and I had the large Trans Am that went across the rear spoiler of where this thing would go on the formula. But um, I ended up, I didn't clean my hands and stuff properly, and I wasn't doing things. And I ended up in the clear masking. You, If you looked carefully, you could see my fingerprints in it. So I guess my fingerprints stayed with the car, but it always kind of pissed me off because I just, I was in such a hurry. I wanted, I wanted to have the graphics on there so badly that I didn't have the patience just to wait until my hands didn't have, because I mean, I worked on the car all the time, so I always had greasy fingers and this and that, you know, and you can't, you can't get your hands clean all the time like you're supposed to. So instead of doing that or wearing gloves or something else or knowing tricks like putting soapy water down and things like that, you know, I just went for it and kind of half-assed it. I mean, nobody really noticed except me, but it always, always just kind of, pissed me off. I was like, well, so nowadays I try to have a little bit more patience. Okay. Let's give this guy a wipe. Okay. So let's see. Let's see if this thing's going to lift for us. No, not, not enough. Okay, you know what, here's what we'll do. Quick tech. We'll burnish it with a credit card. If you have a platinum card, maybe it'll come out better, I don't know. <laughs> Try this again here and see how we do. The other thing is, too, with that water solution under here. It's not gonna be quite as tacky as it would be if it were just straight, if it were just a straight sticker. But like I said, there's some forgiveness factor in here too. So that's kind of important for me. So hopefully I don't screws it up. great part about decorating my toolbox is a I got a bitchin looking toolbox and B I can practice on this so when I actually put these on the car I have a little bit a little bit of a run through so I know how the material is going to react which is always a plus I mean this stuff's printed on 3m so you know it's good stuff but okay I can see some ever so slight air bubbles on a few spots in the black so I'll have to work on that to get it out that's what I was trying to avoid but at the same time there it goes just wash that's why we have the water because I literally just push the air bubble right out okay let's keep walking this guy up And voila. Oh, that looks killer. Okay. A couple little spots here. A lot of the stuff, too, if this is anything like 
in the old days. This is gonna take, um, it'll take a day or so and it'll evaporate. Um, it'll evaporate the waters that are underneath it. And since I'm in California, it's starting in Central California, especially um, where, you know, it gets to be 110 plus in the summertime sometimes, which, yeah, it gets plenty hot. So we're already in, um, what are we in, mid mid to late April now? It's almost Easter. So um, garage should be getting plenty warm enough in the next couple of days that uh, it'll help evacuate all this. But anyways, damn. I think that looks pretty bitchin'. While I'm at it, I've got an old GTO emblem I can put on too, which save these things because you know when you're decorating decorating your toolbox and whatnot these are always really handy to use so all right thanks a lot hope you enjoyed it you either own just a car or you drive a pontiac firebird part engineering part soul